Imagine a time so long ago, there were no cities, no cars, no buildings, only wild lands and a very special family, the very first humans. This incredible family began their journey in a place called Africa, the cradle of humanity, where the story of all people on earth truly begins. Let's discover how we all came from there, and why, even today, our skin tells the story of that ancient adventure. A very, very long time ago, even before there were any buildings, cars, or cities, there were people who looked different from us, but they were our very, very old family. Scientists call these people ancient humans. The story of where we all come from starts in a place called Africa. Africa is a big, beautiful continent with many countries like Ethiopia, Kenya, and Tanzania. Scientists call Africa the cradle of humanity. That means it is where the very first modern humans appeared on Earth. Let's talk about how those humans began, how they moved around the world, how they made and used tools, the birth of culture and language and why people's skin color is different today. The very first modern humans are called Homo sapiens. That means, wise man, in Latin because they could think, learn, and create better than any humans before them. These humans could think, talk, and make tools. They looked a lot like people today and could use tools, talk to each other, and live together in groups. But they lived a very long time ago, about 200,000 to 300,000 years ago. Scientists who study bones and stones, these people are called anthropologists and archaeologists, found many old bones of humans in Africa. They found many fossils, these are very old bones and footprints, of early humans in East Africa, especially in Ethiopia, Kenya, and Tanzania. These countries are very special because they have the oldest evidence of our human ancestors. These places have very old rocks and dirt that help keep the bones safe for thousands and thousands of years. Before modern humans, there were other kinds of humans too, but Homo sapiens were special because they could learn, share stories, and solve problems better than others. They had big brains and could make fire, tools, and even art. These early humans lived in small groups, hunted animals, gathered plants, and made simple tools from stones and bones. One famous fossil named Lucy was found in Ethiopia, and she lived even earlier, about 3.2 million years ago. Lucy wasn't a modern human but one of our ancient relatives who started walking on two legs. Walking upright was an important step for humans. In Africa, the first Homo sapiens learned how to make fire, build shelters, and use language to talk and share stories. These skills helped them survive and grow. Because the oldest fossils and tools have been found in Africa, scientists believe Africa is where humans began their long journey. It is like the place where a big family was born before the family spread out all over the world. East Africa means the side of Africa where countries like Ethiopia, Kenya, and Tanzania are. This is why it is called the cradle of humanity, because it is where the story of us all begins. The first modern humans who lived in Africa were very smart. One of the ways they showed this was by making tools. Tools are things people create to help them do jobs better. Early humans made tools from stones, bones, and wood. At first, their tools were very simple. They chipped stones to make sharp edges. These sharp stones helped them cut meat from animals they hunted or scrape bark from trees. Later, their tools became more advanced. They learned to make spears to hunt from a distance and needles to sew animal skins into clothes. Making tools helped early humans survive. Tools made hunting easier, helped gather food, and gave protection from animals. Scientists have found many ancient tools in Africa, showing that this was the place where toolmaking began and grew. Early humans didn't just make tools, they also started creating culture. Culture means the way people live, their beliefs, stories, music, and customs. One very important part of culture is language. Language is how people talk to each other using words or sounds. Early humans learned to communicate to share ideas, warn each other about danger, and tell stories. Stories helped pass down knowledge from one generation to another. They told about where to find food, how to stay safe, and about animals and nature. This was the start of history, even before people wrote anything down. One of the greatest discoveries early humans made was how to make and use fire. Fire gave them warmth during cold nights and helped cook food so it was easier to eat and safer. Fire also kept dangerous animals away and gave light during dark times. Around one million years ago, early humans in Africa learned to control fire. This was a very big step for humans because fire changed how they lived. Early humans lived in small groups called tribes. These groups were like families that helped each other. They shared food, protected each other, and worked together to survive. Living in groups also helped people learn from one another. For example, if one person found a good hunting spot or a way to make a better tool, they could teach the others. These groups moved around to find food and water. They learned where to go during different seasons to stay safe and healthy. 
Africa is a big place with many different kinds of weather and land. Some areas are dry and hot like deserts. Others are wet and green like forests or near rivers. Early humans had to adapt to all these different places. When the climate changed, sometimes getting colder or drier, they had to learn new ways to live. For example, during dry times, when water was hard to find, humans learned to dig wells or find plants that stored water. They also learned to travel long distances to follow animals. These changes helped humans become very good at surviving in many different environments. After living in Africa for many, many years, some groups of humans became curious and brave. They wanted to explore new lands beyond Africa. After a long time, some of these first humans wanted to see more of the world. They moved to other places outside Africa. This idea is called the out of Africa theory. It means that humans started in Africa and then traveled to other parts of the world, like Europe, Asia, and later America. About 60,000 to 70,000 years ago, these humans began to leave Africa. They traveled on foot, walking through deserts, forests, and across land bridges, places where water was low and dry land appeared. Sometimes, the sea was lower, so they could walk to new lands. They crossed deserts, mountains, and big rivers. It was a very hard journey, but they were curious and brave. Their first stops were in the Middle East, then they moved into Europe and Asia. Some went as far as Australia and later to the Americas. This journey was not easy. The Earth's climate changed many times. Sometimes it was very cold with big ice sheets covering land, and sometimes it was warmer. The humans had to learn how to survive in all kinds of weather. They made better tools, clothes to keep warm, and learned how to hunt different animals. Some groups stayed in Africa, while others went far away to live in different countries. This is why people around the world look different today, they changed a little bit to live in the places they moved to. On their way, the first modern humans met other types of humans who had lived in Europe and Asia for a long time. These included the Neanderthals and Denisovans. Scientists found out that modern humans sometimes lived with these other humans and even had children with them. This mixing helped people today have different traits. Now, let's talk about something very interesting, skin color. One of the most interesting things about humans is their skin color. Have you ever wondered why people's skin colors are different? Some people have light skin, some have dark skin, and many shades in between. But skin color is not just about how we look, it is about how our bodies adapted to where we lived. This is because a long, long time ago, human skin color changed based on where they lived and the sun they felt every day. Near the equator, where Africa is, the sun shines very strong every day. Africa is close to the equator, the middle line around the earth where the sun shines very strong. The sun gives off something called ultraviolet, UV, rays. Too much sun can hurt our skin and cause sickness. People who stayed in these sunny places developed dark skin because it has more melanin, a natural pigment that works like sunscreen to protect the skin. Dark skin has a special thing called melanin. Melanin is a color in the skin that protects us from the sun's strong rays. It's like a built-in sunscreen. So, people who lived in sunny Africa needed more melanin to keep their skin safe. That's why black people have dark skin, it helps protect them from the bright sun. When some humans moved to places with less sun, like northern Europe, their skin started to get lighter. This happened because they needed to make more vitamin D, which our bodies get from sunlight. Lighter skin helps absorb more sunlight when the sun is weaker. This change took a very, very long time, over thousands of years. Lighter skin helps the body make enough vitamin D from the weaker sunlight. So, skin color is not about who is better or worse. It is about how people's bodies change to live happily in different places. This is called adaptation. Adaptation means changing a little bit to fit where you live. It helped humans survive better in different climates. It helps people stay healthy no matter where they are. Even though people's skin colors are different, all humans share the same family roots. Scientists have studied our DNA and found that everyone on Earth is more than 99% alike. This means no matter what color our skin is, we all come from the same ancient family of humans who started in Africa. Understanding where we come from helps us see that all people belong to one big family. We share the same beginnings, and the differences we see, like skin color, are just ways our bodies change to live well in different places. Africa is the beautiful place where it all began, the place where the story of all humans started. Learning this helps us celebrate our differences while honoring our shared humanity. It reminds us that the story of black people is not only rich with struggle and resilience, it is rooted in the very beginning of human existence itself. Thank you for taking this journey with us through time, science, and history. If you found this story inspiring, educational, or eye-opening, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to Roots of Africa 360. 
Our mission is to reconnect you with the truth of our beginnings, to amplify African voices, and to tell the untold stories that shape who we are today. Until next time, remember. Your roots are deep. Your story is powerful. And it all began in Africa.